Hi, I'm Brian, service manager at Whole Latte Love, and today I'm going to show you how to drain your boilers on the Proftec Pro 500 PID. Okay. Okay. Um, so there's a couple reasons why you may need to do this. Uh, sh getting it packed up to ship it, maybe you're moving, maybe you got to send it out for a repair. So I'm going to go over a couple different ways that you can drain it depending on your specific scenarios. All right. Uh, so right now what we're going to do is we're going to go based off the theory that your machine's up and running totally fine and you're looking just to move it to your new home or just do a boiler refresh on it. So the quick and easy way to do it is turn the machine on, let it heat up all the way and get yourself some kind of vessel. Uh, if you're going to use something glass or plastic, make sure that it's something that can tolerate high heat because obviously everything coming out of here is going to be hot. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a little coffee carafe right here, so that should be totally fine. Uh, first thing we're going to do is shut the water off, or the power off so that nothing's trying to refill as we open the valve and then we just open the valve. So and this works because it takes the hot water off the bottom of the boiler, right? Yep, yep. The tube comes right off the lower portion of the uh, boiler and the pressure is what's pushing it out. Uh, this isn't going to empty the boiler all the way, but you're going to get pretty close. Um, if you did want to get it even more empty, I'll show you what you would do if you were trying to empty it and you weren't able to heat the machine up. Okay. So, I'm just going to let that go until it stops. Any second now. And you'll usually hear your uh, vacuum relief click down. That means you got no more pressure in no. there. I think I heard that over here. Fine. Over my loud voice, sorry. <laughs> Ruined the shot. All right, we'll just take that, set it to the side. Now, for what's in the brew boiler, or in the group head, I mean, uh, this is a heat exchanger, so what you can do here is take your reservoir out and grab a trusty magnet of some sort. Uh, if you don't have a magnet laying around, you can always just grab the one out of your float in there, just pop the cap off and snag it out of there. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna turn the machine on. So you're putting that magnet like where the... Yep, right over this... Black uh, thing there. Where is it? Right yep, there. The yep, sensor. right over the sensor there. Okay. Okay, and then just lift the lever and let it run. I'm gonna get some of it out of there. It's not gonna get a whole lot out of there. I usually let it run for maybe 20 seconds, but you can kind of gauge just by looking at it how much is gonna come out of there. So if you wanted to get, you're never gonna be able to get all the water out of the heat exchanger because of the way that it's uh, designed. It's got two tubes that go into the main cylinder. Mm -hmm. So you're never gonna get all of it through those tubes, no matter what you do, unless you completely disassemble it. But we don't really want to do that right now. But so, you can get enough out of there to protect it from any freeze damage, right? Exactly, yep. Okay. Um, it's got a lot of expansion room inside there, so it's mm -hmm. one of the areas that you have the least concern about that happening. But if you wanted to get a little bit more out of there, unplug your machine, bring it over to your sink, Always keep a towel handy, or if you're a big slob like me, <laughs> maybe several towels and a squeegee and a cleanup crew. <laughs> so what you can do is just over the sink, open it and tilt it some more, and you'll get a little more out of there. Usually not a lot, but you can get something out of there. Um, if you really wanted to get as much out of there as you can without having to tear the whole backside apart. Mm -hmm. You could take the mushroom valve off and get some more out that way, but and that's just going this removing way. Removing that top nut up there, right? Yeah. Yep. Just take that right off there, and then that'll expose the two main tubes that come off the heat exchanger. You get a little bit more out that way, but you do this. I mean, this is going to be very boring. Washing paint <laughs> dry. It'll just dribble, dribble, dribble. You know, do that for a couple minutes, and that's really about the best you're going to do for getting as much out of the group out of the heat exchange system. Um, if you needed to drain your service boiler, 
-hmm. you aren't able to warm the machine up, say you're emptying it because you need to get the, uh, the element out so you can change it. Uh, quick way to about that is you can turn the machine again right by the sink here. Mm -hmm. Line it up so that your steam valve is right next to the sink. Now you can do this with the steam tap on or you can take it off. Uh, it'll, it'll get a little bit better flow if it's uh, off, but either way, mm -hmm. just open the valve up all the way, angle it towards the sink, and just tilt it. And because that tube is off the top of the boiler, any water that's left in there is going to follow gravity there, path of least resistance, and looks like we got pretty much all of that out of there. Yeah, you really, since we already emptied it, there's really yeah. so, very little left to go. So. Yeah, and, and there's, there's still going to be some water left in there. Uh, the, where the steam valve t uh, supply tube comes off of it, uh, even with the machine on its side like that, you got about that much space. So you're going to have a few ounces of water left in there. Um, you could flip the machine all the way upside down and see if that does any better, but I don't really suggest it. You're probably going to do more harm than good that way. But, but, again, but even doing this, you'll get enough out to protect from freeze damage or if you need to ship or yeah, store exactly. it. And, yep. like and especially if you're just trying to do a real in-depth uh, gusto flush on it, <laughs> even something like that, uh, more than enough for getting the job done. All right, Brian, thanks for taking us through draining the boiler there. Not a problem.